Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to learn about the formation of eskers and canes. Eskers. An esker is a sinuous trail deposited material from a subglacial channel. It shows the channel's course. Firstly, the way it forms is a subglacial stream forms. Now this forms due to increased pressure on the base of the glacier, so we get a subglacial channel forming from melted ice. The channel begins to carry sediment in the glacier and also in trains sediment too. So now we have the subglacial channel which is moving forward at a very fast rate due to the hydrostatic pressure in the glacier and it's carrying a lot of sediment. Now when the glacier begins to retreat um, due to the process of ablation and or evaporation, the subglacial stream stops to flow because the hydrostatic pressure is lost. So as a result, it's losing energy and it deposits all the material that it's carrying. It's then dumped in the path of where the channel used to be moving in a long line. For example, the Murno Esker in Canada. So this is what it looks like. We have the glacier and the subglacial channel moving out. Then, when the glacier eventually loses its energy, it's going to deposit all of its uh, sediment and it's going to form this long trail where the subglacial channel was heading. These are the formation of cames. A came is a deposited mound of sediment left in the path of a retreating glacier. Firstly, rock falls onto the valley on top of the glacier. The rocks and the sediment fall into crevasses which are located on top of the glacier. Crevasses are cracks in the glacier formed from ice deformation and um, deformational flow, which is a type of glacier flow which we covered earlier on in the course. Deglaciation then occurs and the crevasses move down closer and closer until the, um, they get to the base of the glacier right next to the valley bed. Now this keeps happening as the glacier melts. Then when they finally reach the valley bed, they get deposited in mounds of sediment um, as they reach perhaps a subglacial channel. And this leaves mounds. We can also get cane terraces. And these are deposited mounds of sediment at the sides of the valley. Firstly, pressure between the valley sides and the glacier forms an ice marginal channel or an ice marginal lake if it isn't moving. So this is what it looks like. Their channels or lakes formed in between the glacier and the valley sides due to the pressure exerted. As water, which then carries the sediment, travels into the valley, maybe perhaps from a hanging valley, it's going to collect here in this ice marginal channel. So here we see the sediment going into the channel which falls from the valley. As an ice marginal lake or channel is not flowing at all, it's going to deposit all of its material and it's then going to collect um, just at the bottom there on the valley side when the glacier retreats. As it does so, it leaves the sediment at the valley sides and we get a came terrace. A delta came. Delta cames are cames that form in proglacial lakes. A subglacial channel is formed from the glacier's pressure. When it does, it entrains the material in the valley's um, sort of way and transports it downstream. As the subglacial channel meets the proglacial lake, which is in front of it, it loses all its energy and therefore deposits its sediment, hence forming a delta came. Now, there are many ways in which delta cames can be produced. This is just one of them. In your exam, if you do have another idea of how delta cames may be able to form, and for that matter, any other sorts of canes or eskers, that could be right. Now, there are many ways, and in cold environments, we never know specifically what is actually the correct formation of a feature in a cold environment. However, this is one of them. So if you do have any other ideas or have been taught in your textbook another way in which this could happen, you can write that down as well. Cames. So this is a diagram to show how cames may be. As we can see in this glacier, we have cames forming from standard cames where rock falls falls into the crevasses and also cane terraces, which we can see as the cane falls in the ice marginal channels. Then, when the deglaciation occurs and the glacier retreats, we can get a came terrace and also came just as mounds in the middle of the valley. Here's some questions on the formation of cames. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to give yourself time. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did manage to get all of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on valves. As always, thanks for watching and good luck in your exam.